good afternoon. Uh, what you have before you is an AOR 8200 communications receiver uh, or a scanner, but to be fair, calling it a scanner is a little bit a little bit simple. Um, it's capable of doing so much more than scanning radio frequencies. It's an extremely difficult radio receiver to use to get the full benefits and features out of it. Uh, the manual is massively long. It's very, very heavy. 140 pages. So what I hope to do, and it's as much for my benefit as, as for everybody else's, is to try and just show you some of the simple things that you can do with this. So if you have one, you can take it out of the box and you can immediately start doing something with it. The first thing I'd advise you to do is to go and get offline uh, some frequency lists. Now, let's start with the radio in a, shall we say, a factory fresh state. It is pre-programmed, but if you press and hold the clear button and turn the radio on, that will start it up in a known state. And I'm just going to do that again. So it's press and hold clear, power it up, keep the clear button pressed. There we go. So you have to keep the clear button pressed, sorry about that. Right, on the display we have, zoom in a little bit, it's telling us there that we're on 2 VFO mode, we're on wideband FM, that the channel step, which is here, is 100 kilohertz, and that the two VFOs, VFO A and VFO B, are set on 88 megahertz. So let's just have a quick look at some of the buttons on the side of the radio to familiarise. Okay. This is the function button. This can either be depressed once or depressed and held. This little wheel here is like a, a tuner on a normal radio. It does have, if you press it, it does have a switch built into it. Now, ordinarily that switch does not work, but my radio has been modded to make it work. If you're interested in that modification, drop me a drop me a message. The button here, KL. If you press and hold, the radio will beep, and a small little lock symbol. I don't think my camcorder is going to let me zoom in that close to see it but a small lock symbol will appear and that means that basically the keypad is disabled okay pressing the KL button there we go it's dis it's the lock symbol from the top corner has disappeared and I can now use the radio as normal this is a monitor button, I'm not going to bother with that now, that's for another lesson. And here we have some little joypad, for want of a better word, up, down, left and right. So, I do have on mine this little device, which is a pre-amplifier. It runs off a battery, it allows me to boost the incoming signal because I live in a, a bit of a valley, so it's not a particularly good radio reception. So, there we go. Okay, we'll turn the volume up and the squelch right down. Now, let's assume for the moment, I'm just going to shut that up. Let us assume for the moment that I want to scan the normal UK um, commercial radio frequencies. Now, I know that that's 88 to 108 megahertz. So, we have on the display two VFO. It's set to narrowband FM with a step spacing of 12.5 kilohertz. VFO A and VFO B. 
So starting with VFOA, which is highlighted there, and if I push, you'll see B's at the top, now A's at the top, now B's at the top, now A's at the top. If I type in on the keypad, 88.0, enter, and then I push VFO, okay, and then so B is at the top, and then I type in 108.0, and you can just press enter because the, 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 the radio receiver is smart enough to know what you mean. So what we have there is we have a frequency range of 88 to 108 megahertz and it's scanning, I don't know whether you can see this or it will be shortly, at 50 kilohertz intervals. It's set to AM at the minute but in a moment if I push and hold, I'll turn the volume up again, I'm just going to turn the squelch just to take just to take the edge off that noise, there we go. If I push and hold the VFO button, there we go. It's immediately started scanning and it's dropped on 107.1 and there's a signal there. If I push VFO again, it just drops back to 108. So push and hold, okay. Now, using the controls on the side, I can either, and I'm going to rotate the wheel down, so you will see. Okay, there we go. I don't know what station it is, but if I keep going that, and that will, every time it drops on the station, Great symphony number five there. Simon Rattle in the city of Birmingham. Symphony Orchestra with, I think, a performance. Uh -huh. Now, obviously, these can be stored. These channels scanning can be stored in the memory, but that's for another time because that's quite complicated as well. So as I keep... Okay. And then when it gets back, it just reverts back to normal. Now, I can use the wheel to go up or down, or I can use the little joypad controller to do the same. So 105, going back up. And I can switch between the two. So I'm just going to turn. There we go. So, very, very simply, that's how to program in frequency A to frequency B and monitor between them. So, if I want to, for example, scan the PMR channels, I know that the PMR channels start at 446.00625. So, if I start with VFOA, so VFOA is at the top and I type in the upper or the lower frequency, it doesn't really matter, it just depends how you want to do it. If I go 446.0062 like that and then if I go to VFOB and the upper range is 446093. So 446. Oh, I might have made a point zero nine three. Enter. So I've made a slight mistake. Go back to VFOA and key in 446006. 446. Point zero zero six enter okay now there we go the channel spacing between these things it looks like it is set to 12.5 kilohertz on narrow band fm 
Now it could be narrow band, it could be wide band FM and there are ways we can change this. If I want to change for example the 12.5 kilohertz to something else if I press the function button which is this button here if I press it once then I press step which is number two okay 12.5 so if I want to set that say to 10 that's 10 kilohertz 10.0 press enter and you'll see that the step has changed to 44 uh, sorry to 10 kilohertz so once again if I turn up the volume turn the squelch down just turn the squelch back up to defeat the noise I can then use push and hold VFO and off it goes now I'm going to be missing the channels for the simple reason that I've set the step wrong but that's by the by if I hit the function button again and then step and go 12.5 turn the amplifier up I'm not I'm very unlikely to pick any PMR signals up from around here because there just aren't any as I said this is just purely to demonstrate so I can change the step to if I go for example say 1 function press 2 step 1 enter and as you can see and that's just scanning between a range now there are other things you can do with this um, I can for example if I don't want to scan in narrowband FM once again if I push the function button once and press mode here I can select between narrow FM, wide FM auto, carrier wave, lower side band, upper side band, narrow band AM, AM, wide band AM, etc. Generally, if you know just turn that down. If you know what you want, set it. If you don't, put it on auto. And the other thing I've got here at the top, if you can see this, it says A double T. That's the attenuator. Now if I function and the attenuator is one. So function one turns the attenuator off makes the radio more sensitive so if we turn the volume up just get the squelch down and as you can see it's just scanning away quite merrily and if it finds any frequencies it'll stop and it'll scan on them so there you go that's a very very basic and brief introduction on how to use some of the oh at least to give you an idea of how to set up a range of frequencies uh, say between 100 megahertz and 200 megahertz and then scan between the two of them i hope you found that useful please keep your eyes open for my next video uh, regarding this radio receiver um, and we'll look at some of the other features and hopefully we'll look at programming things into memory uh, using the slot cards etc 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 thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed bye bye